How's it going, tiny little hot dog cuties? Ben here, and today we're going to be talking about why you should be taking your medical school tours very, very seriously. As you all have known, if you follow my social media profiles, my Twitter or Instagram, that I am a tour guide at my medical school, and I've done two tours so far, so I feel like I have the ability to talk about this in the video, but there are certain things if you are interviewing at a medical school and then you are on the tour that you should be doing and things that you shouldn't really be doing at all. And yes, I know I haven't been posting weekly as much as I would want to, mainly because I had an exam coming up. I'm kind of struggling in this block and trying to ca catch back up. And also I was on spring break, so I was taking a little bit of meication, if you know what I mean. So... If I am not uploading weekly for the next couple of weeks, you guys know why. This block is very hard, and I'm just trying to get through it before the summer break. Okay, so let's address the medical school tour, shall we? You've applied to medical school. You've gotten an interview. It's your interview day. You've at least done one interview or you're waiting on your official interview person to come get you and so you, they can interview you, but... In between that, you will be doing a tour. And most of these tours are actually led by current medical students at my medical school. One of them is yours truly. And this is your chance. This is your chance to see the facilities of the school. This is your chance to talk to current students. And this is your chance to actually ask questions that you wouldn't normally ask the faculty or the admissions department, such as student life, how students interact, how students connect with one another, and what facilities that is of, are available to you to use at the medical school that you are interviewing at. So, how should you, how should you act during this tour? And I always, always, always will recommend every single person when they are touring the medical school that they are interviewing at to be professional, always, always be professional, regardless of uh, whether or not you think someone is watching you, whether or not you're going on a casual tour or a more strict tour, always, always be professional. Let your personality shine though. I, I remember when I interviewed and did my tours last year, I was always myself, I was casual, I was always making jokes. But I never, I never let myself get too loose. I always thought of myself as while I'm in the tour, I want to present myself as someone, someone that desires to go to this school and someone that wants to present myself as professional but lax as possible so that I can win over, win over my peers that will be, that will maybe my peers if I were to get in and impress the upperclassmen because they will see me as a potential colleague in the future. And now personally, since I am in the admissions committee at my school, I'm not gonna give details on how my school works, but I have heard from other students that do tours at other medical schools that I'm friends with that the tour really, really is an evaluation of you, is, is an extension of the of an evaluation of you. Although there are some schools that don't really rate students, there are schools that are pretty transparent about that, they rate students during the tour, and there are schools that don't really tell you whether or not they are rating you. That, I, I have no idea, and that's just how it is. And even if a, if a school is not formally rating you, the people that are giving the tours do have some say on saying how you behaved during that tour. If you behaved unprofessionally, I'm pretty sure they're not going to keep it to themselves. They're going to let the admissions committee know. And you, if you behaved exceptionally, they might stick, stick it out for you. They might actually advocate for you if they are more hands-on with the admissions committee like if the admissions committee thinks you're a mediocre student and you had a great interaction with these tour guides they might stick it out for you so always always if you're gonna get anything out of this video be yourself but be professional now we're gonna talk about some fun things i have seen and i've heard stories of that, that people did that have been entirely unprofessional and that you should not do at all number one 
do not, do not, while on your tour, talk about another school, another school's facilities, and why or why not this other school's facilities might be better than the current school that you are interviewing. I remember I was giving a tour once, and this one girl just kept on telling me about how she went to this other school and toured there, and they had all these cool little knickknacks and gadgets that they had available for the people touring to see and use while they were touring my school and they thought that we didn't have those things and to be really honest we do have those things they aren't just available for you to use right now they're actually being used by the upperclassmen that actually need them not for your own gimmicky or not for your own pleasure to see so do not do that do not compare compare the facilities of the school that you're interviewing with the facilities of another school that's just that's just not tactful at all. And I totally get it. I totally get it. Sometimes you see something super, super cool at another school and you're wondering if the current school you're touring has it. You are completely welcome to ask that question. But just don't don't try to make a compare and comparison between the two schools. This specific person that I was talking to kept on trying to compare and contrast it, but was shedding my school in a bad light because we didn't have it available for her to see or anything like that. Always try to be professional. You could always be like, hey, so I noticed that um, there are some med school, medical schools that have this thing. Do you guys also have this thing available to students? And that's a completely professional question to ask during the tour to a medical student. The second biggest pet peeve that me and my fellow tour guides have seen that students do is that please do not waste our time. Take us seriously. There have been so many instances where we're giving a tour and there's there's an interviewee who just doesn't take the tour guides very seriously, thinks that we have no say and continues to waste our time. There was this one person specifically asked to use the restroom during our tour. So we spent a good five to ten minutes just waiting and continue the tour. That's wasting our time because we we actually as students we take time out of our day, time out of studying to give these tours and also we want to make sure we hit every single location we want you guys to see. We are crun we are crunched on the n amount of time we have to give this tour because we need to bring you back eventually so that you can go on and do your next thing. So don't waste don't waste your tour guys time and don't waste your fellow interviewees time by asking to do certain things that you should have kind of done before or after the tour. The next huge thing that you should never ever do, and this kind of goes to the entire interview process as a whole, never ever, never ever whip your phone out. Don't whip it out, don't whip it out at all. If you whip your phone out, you're giving the idea to either faculty, admissions, or the tour guides that you don't really care and that you're not taking it seriously. We had several occasions when we were talking, they just had their phone out and they were like texting their friends and everything. That's just not very professional. If you are there dressed in business formal clothing, trying to impress a school, just don't do that. And we have at times as well, witnessed students take out their phone when an admissions member or admissions faculty is giving a speech or a presentation and they think that we're not going to rat them out, but we will. And it's not ratting out at all, it's just super unprofessional for someone to do, to whip their phone out during something as important as that. Who, who do you think we would rather take? Someone who gives their undivided attention during their medical school interview or someone who just doesn't take it seriously enough to put their phone away for at least maybe six to eight hours? If, you're, if, you, if you have the compulsive need to take out your phone as, uh, in something as important as a medical school interview, that just shows where your priorities are and that you don't have any impulse control. And the last piece of advice I have for you while you're going on your medical school tour is to interact with your fellow interviewees. Get to know them a little bit better. Get to know the tour guides a little bit better. Ask questions. However, do not ever monopolize the time of the tour guides. We are there to answer questions for everyone. Don't ask super personal questions. Ask general questions that everyone in the tour can benefit from, from learning from the tour guides. Do not monopolize, be appreciative, have a good time,
get to know the school a bit, a bit more, more intimately because this is the only time during your entire interview process that you'll actually get to see all the facilities. You can roam around, you can look at different things, you can ask everything that you would want to ask, just be professional, just value other people's questions as well. And don't ask questions that you know the answer to. I feel like there are some people, some people that we have seen, me and my peers have seen during the interview tour trail, where they will specifically ask questions they already know the answer to, to come off as they're super interested in the school. That comes off as disingenuous. That comes off as that you're trying way too hard to impress. That's not going to rub any anyone the right way. You want to ask novel questions, you want it to be spontaneous, you want it to be organic. You don't want to sound rehearsed. There have been times where we thought someone was being super, super rehearsed just because they wanted to come off as charming and and approachable. But at the in the end, it was just very cringy because of how hard they were trying to get these scripted questions out. Anyways guys, thank you guys so, so, so much for watching this video. I know I'm making this video later on in the interview interview trail than I, than I should, but I'm hoping, I'm hoping that people who have taken their MCAT this year and are planning on applying is going to watch this video for next year to prepare for their interview. And people who haven't been getting very good results after their interview, maybe this is one of the reasons why that you haven't been doing well. So that the next time that you reapply, maybe, Maybe you can learn some valuable lessons from this video and it'll help you get that acceptance for next time. I love you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to follow me on my social media accounts, Instagram and Twitter. Those are my two most active social media accounts. I will be back the next time I'm available to make a video. However, next week is next weekend is Trans Day of Visibility. So I may make a very special video and it's also my six month anniversary on testosterone. So I will be making a video hopefully and have it for you guys. I, I can't make big promises because I've been making promises on my Instagram and Twitter and like I don't live up to them because I'm just so busy and I've just had so many things that come up. I love you. See you on the next one. Mwah.